And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon Kiso Vlog Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? Traffic at this time. And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO Vlog network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 3,100 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a newer series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics and current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running five internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia specifically. And in addition, we're running our newer number five Hocus Pocus internet SDR receiver, loaded with 50 additional pre-programmed internet SDR locations spread out over 20 states across the eastern part of the United States, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these five SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. And today our local receiver is running three large 10 foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six position rotary selector.
Also today on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant tuned dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant tuned dipole antenna runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hotspot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you'll protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Network. And now, with all that being said, let's open it up and see who's out there. If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. Check out. Give us a shout. November 4, Juliet Bravo Bravo. Is that November 4, Juliet Bravo Bravo, Roger? November 4, Juliet Bravo Bravo, Roger. Roger, Jeff uh, in uh, North Carolina. Da, da, da. And uh, Jeff, uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, Jeff, uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Right now I'm running a uh, fresh out of the box uh, FTH, FTDX 10. Uh, about halfway between Charlotte and Nashville. Uh, talked to you many times. Uh, well, this is my third time, and this is a different radio. Roger, Roger. Now, uh, when you key in, there's a great deal of noise. So I'm just wondering, uh, are you using the supplied hand mic, Roger? Using the supplied hand mic, Roger? Uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, well, I, I suggest first thing we do is uh, get that compression uh, setting uh, down to the processor level down to uh, 3. Compressor processor level down to a three, Roger, Roger. Level down to a three, Roger, Roger. Okay, it goes from zero to 100, and right now it's on 30. Yes, sir, that is correct. That is correct. And we're kind of jumping around here, but uh, uh, the other thing is to uh, make sure that that radio is in the, uh, the wide mode. That's 100 to 2900. Roger, Roger. To 2900. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, yep. Uh, we, uh, I, I remember you told me that before, and I've already adjusted that part. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, let's go to your ALC with uh, Mike Gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, uh, adjust your Mike Gain until your ALC is reading uh, seven or two thirds. Seven or two thirds, Roger. Seven or two thirds, Roger. Okay, let me find this. Here it is. Uh, audio. A little bit high. Uh, hold on just one sec. Uh, Okay, how does that sound better? Yes, sir. And uh, did you, you say you were running the supplied hand mic, right? We're running the supplied hand mic, right? Roger, Roger. Yes, the, uh, I don't know what the model number of it is, but it is the uh, mic that comes with the radio. 
Yes, sir. Well, you know, to pull that mic to the side of your lips and talk across it. Do not talk into it. Pull it to the side of your lips. Actually, touch your lips and uh, talk across it, Roger. And uh, talk across it, Roger. Okay, let's try that. I'm used to I'm used to that PR40, that Empire mic. Uh, does that help out there as well? Yes, sir. That uh, that solves the problem pretty much. Uh, just remember that uh, you know that's the best way to work those hand mics, so you don't pick up a lot of uh, of uh, mouth noise, Roger. Uh, of uh, mouth noise, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, not sure about the uh, equalization on this one. Uh, it gets pretty complex in the menus, but uh, does it sound pretty decent as far as the bass and treble? Uh, do you know how to get to your equalization page? How to get to your equalization page? I do, but it gets really complex once you get in there as far as turning levels up and down. It's not, I'm used to just a regular parametric, you know, you can run one up and run one down, and this one's got a different kind of setup. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I know that. Uh, we could probably work on it. Uh, I can guide you through that uh, if you get to your equalization page. Uh, if you get to your equalization page. Roger, give me just one second. Okay, uh, so you're running a processor, so you should have a set of controls called the P uh, set of uh, equalizer controls, Roger? Set of uh, equalizer controls, Roger. Uh, yes, I do. P-metric, EQ2. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Let's go back to the top. Yes, sir. Uh, there's something going on with your microphone. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Sounds like it might be uh, some noise in there. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I'll tell you what, first thing I want you to do uh, right at this point is just key your mic for about five seconds. Don't say anything. Just key your mic and let me uh, let me see where your uh, compressor is wandering to. Roger? Where your uh, compressor is wandering to. Roger? Okay. It's keyed up. Roger, Roger. Okay, I got some uh, staticky noise coming off that mic. I'm not real sure uh, uh, what that's all about. Do you have another mic you could slip in there? It's all about. Do you have another mic you could slip in there? I do not, Jim. It's got that RJ45, but I just noticed when I wiggle the uh, that right there, if I push and hold it in, I'm, I'm hearing it come back through my monitor, and I just push it in, and I'm, I'm holding it manually. And I'm going to give you five more seconds to see if you can still hear it. Okay, I think that's what it is. The uh, the uh, the uh, clip, the hold-on clip is uh, broken on that uh, uh, J45. Is that a Roger? Not uh, uh, J45. Is that a Roger? I think so, because when I push it in and hold it, I cannot hear that. Yes, sir. I don't know exactly how to cure that. I've uh, I've uh, been exposed to that, and uh, I forget uh, right at the moment. I think I spliced another J45 onto that uh, uh, that uh, microphone uh, to to make it work, Roger. The, yeah, you can't really re that I know of repair a broken um, holdback uh, uh, connection on a J45, Roger. Connection on a J45, Roger. Yeah, the uh, the little clip is on it, but it's uh, a little bit wiggly in there. It's not a really tight fit. I can actually wiggle it up down a couple of degrees. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or make sure that it's uh, it's in all the way, Roger. Roger. It's uh, it's in all the way, Roger. Roger. Yep, yeah, it's going in and lock it, uh, but the only way it's uh, it's good and tight is if I hold it. I see. Well, you know, the other thing is uh, get the Gorilla Tape out and tape across that connection where it, uh, you know, that Gorilla Tape is holding it tight in place, Roger. Gorilla Tape is holding it tight in place, Roger. Okay, yeah, I don't have any here local with me, but uh, I will try that. 
<laughs> roger, roger. Okay, that's it. that is your noise problem right there. It was a loose connection in that J45. And uh, so we're holding it in. Uh, you have uh, bypassed that noise now, and, uh, and uh, everything is... is uh, uh, Roger, Roger, on that uh, on that mic as long <laughs> as long as you uh, hold your finger on that plug, Roger. As long as you uh, hold your finger on that plug, Roger. Roger, Roger. It'd be hard to adjust it and to do it at the same time. So let me let me run up on another mic here if I can, and uh, maybe I'll at you another time. Uh, Roger, if you uh, if you are particularly ambidextrous, we could uh, uh, press on with this EQ. Try uh, uh, see if that will hold itself. Take your finger off the plug and and see if it'll stay in there. Finger off the plug and and see if it'll stay in there. Give me a shout. Let me see what's going on. Give me a shout. Let me see what's going on. Okay, I just wedged a, uh, something underneath it to uh, hold up on the cord, and I'm going to give you five more seconds here. Okay. Yes, sir. I th that's got the problem solved, so uh, let's press on with the equalizer now. What kind of equalizer is that? Uh, is that like uh, 25 cycles, 50 cycles, 100 cycles, 200 cycles like that? Cycles, 100 cycles, 200 cycles like that. Yeah, but yeah, it just confuses me. It starts at the very top. It says AMS, AMC release time, P metric, EQ1 frequency off, and stuff like that. It don't actually give a graph. Yeah, I got you. But you're in the P set of controls, Roger. Yeah, I got you. But you're in the P set of controls, Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, so take that uh, that lowest one, that one around 25 cycles or 40 cycles or something like that, and just roll that all the way out. Uh, take that to a minus 20 or, or off, whichever comes first. Or, or off, whichever comes first. Okay, let me click around here. It's all touchscreen stuff, too. Uh, processor, uh, here it is. Okay, uh, roll it back there some. Okay, so you're like a minus 20 at, uh, what is the actual frequency? Minus 20 at, uh, what is the actual frequency? Uh, 100. All right, uh, why don't you take that up to, um, and that's the bottom one that you've got, right? And that's the bottom one that you've got, right? Uh, that's the lowest one I see here, yes. Okay, so, um... And what's the one above it? So, um, and what's the one above it? Give me just a second. Uh, 250? All right, uh, take 100 there, that uh, bottom one, take it all the way down to minus whatever it will be, like minus 20 or minus 30, Roger. It will be like minus 20 or minus 30, Roger. Okay, 20, uh, 25. Okay, now go up to the one above that, 250, and take that minus 5. 250, and take that minus 5. Okay, negative, negative 5. Okay, make sure you're, you're attenuating. Uh, minus, minus 5 on that control, Roger. Minus, minus 5 on that control, Roger. Roger, it's negative. Okay, now everything, um, uh, let's see, uh, the next one would be like 400 or 500? The, uh, the next one would be like 400 or 500? Looks like 500, yes. Okay, so f from 500 to 1.5 should be flat, plus or minus zero in the uh, flat mode, Roger. In the uh, flat mode, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, zero and uh, zero, yes. Uh, ze yep, zeroed out right there. Okay, sir. And then uh, uh, when we get on up towards the top, the treble, what do you have up at the other, other at the top end on the treble control? What are those frequencies? Top end on the treble control. What are those frequencies? Give me just a second. Uh, it goes one, one thousand, two thousand, four thousand. 
I got you. I got you. Okay, let's. Uh, the ideal push frequency is uh, 2.7. So let's uh, just uh, make that. We'll have to make that work instead of actually having a frequency like that. We'll have to combine two uh, two frequencies uh, to make that 2.7. So uh, take your four, take your 4K all the way up, 4K maxed out. Uh, and do you have a bandwidth uh, uh, on that? Do you have a bandwidth uh, uh, on that? Uh, yes, I have to. You know, I've already set the bandwidth from 100 to 2900, and uh, you said run the, uh, which one was it, the 4K uh, all the way up? Yes, yeah, so 4K all the way up. And I, what I really meant was bandwidth uh, of that e that's 4K. In other words, I'm not sure. Some equalizers have a, a shaping capability on their tone control to make it broader. And uh, we want that at about a 4 if you have that control in your equalizer uh, um, area. In your equalizer uh, area. Okay, there's a uh, 4K maxed out right there. 4, yeah, 4K. Okay, and uh, do you have a width control next to that uh, that push control? Control next to that uh, that push control. I do not see a width control on here, Jim. Okay, uh, be uh, be very considerate and constant about uh, the way you adjust the microphone because I'm getting that one sounded a little bit different than the, uh, the one before that. One before that sounded uh, pretty close, but that one sounded a little muffly. So uh, come back and tell me about your antenna system. So uh, come back and tell me about your antenna system. Okay, I'm uh, right now. I'm running a 80, mil 80 meter uh, horizontal loop uh, with a four to one balance. Uh, seems to tune really good across about all the bands. Uh, and I really like it. About uh, about 30 foot off the ground. Over. Roger, Roger. Okay, let's go to that uh, 2K control. That 2K control just below the 4K on the 2K. Make that a plus four. Make that a plus four on the 2K. Plus four on the 2K. We're trying to make that uh, whole thing come out to a 2.7. Trying to make that uh, whole thing come out to a 2.7. Okay, uh, right there is a plus four. It's not as high as the 4K, but it is a plus four. Yes, sir. That sounds pretty good. Now, tell me the best thing you like about your radio. Sir, sure, that sounds pretty good. Now, tell me the best thing you like about your radio. I, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> These, uh, these menus are pretty deep. Uh, it, the receive art is beautiful. I have a uh, Flex 6500 also, and it, it receives very well, but the uh, DNR on this thing is pretty awesome as far as taking noise out. Uh, that's probably my favorite thing about the uh, noise reduction. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, go back down to the bottom end. And uh, we have one of those, we have uh, 200 and 250 cycles uh, minus 5, is that a Roger? 250 cycles uh, minus 5, is that a Roger? Yes, that's correct. Okay, take uh, one more click down. Roll one more click off and make it a, a 6 on that control, Roger. Make it a, a 6 on that control, Roger. Okay, right there is 6. Uh, 6 on that low one. Uh, take one more, make it a seven. Uh, take one more, make it a seven. Okay, there's seven. Oh, excuse me, there's a seven right there. Okay, so let's go back to our ALC now and reset our ALC level. Uh, as you say the word audio, adjust your mic level until your ALC meter reads uh, seven or two thirds, Roger. C meter reads uh, seven or two thirds, Roger. Okay, here we go. We got the, on my ALC meter, Jim, it's got a uh, white bar and it's got a blue bar. And it's bouncing in the white bar about three quarters scale right now. All right, I think that's uh, that's pretty close there. Uh, gosh, uh, <laughs> uh, tell me some more about something I don't know, and let me let me get a good recording for you, Roger. About something I don't know, and let me let me get a good recording for you, Roger. Okay, just want to let you know that you are my first contact on this radio. Uh, just got a hook up turned on. I heard you starting your net, and uh, thought I'd jump.
Roger, Roger. Uh, take one more click off uh, uh, minus uh, eight on your uh, low frequency there at two point uh, two fifty. Roger. See there at two four uh, two fifty. Roger. Okay. Uh, there's one more click down. Okay, I'm, just, I'm trying to give you a little bit of edge there. Uh, come plus one click boost on that t two uh, kilohertz uh, control. Now we already got the four at max maxed out, Roger. Control. Now we already got the four at max maxed out, Roger. Okay, let me scroll down here to two, two again. You gotta scroll up and down to get to these things. Uh, there's two K. One click. One more click. Positive. Over. Roger, and we're maxed out on our 4K, Roger. Roger, and we're maxed out on our 4K, Roger. Yes, max to the top, all the way to the roof. I think that's pretty good. Now, uh, I would uh, pull, maybe pull back just a tad on my ALC, uh, uh, and let's see what happens. Just, uh, uh, just a click lower than where you are on your ALC level, Roger. Just a click lower than where you are on your ALC level, Roger. Okay, let's click back uh, one, uh, about two clicks right there, is that two clicks right there. Roger, Roger, and out of curiosity, you are on the hand mic, and you do have it uh, right at your your side of your your lips, Roger. It, uh, at your, your side of your, your lips, Roger. QSL, I've got the uh, wedge underneath it to get the static out, and I'm uh, stomping across it. It's barely touching my lips every once in a while. Roger, Roger. Okay, let's go back to our EQ and uh, take two more clicks off that low frequency, uh, 250 cycles. Uh, uh, two more clicks uh, uh, minus uh, on your uh, uh, on your low frequency, two f two 250 cycles. Two, two, 250 cycles. Okay, I think the last one was seven negative. Uh, okay, right there. There is uh, two clicks, that's down to nine clicks, negative on the low 250. Yes, sir. I think that's sounding pretty good now. You, uh, uh, you're nice and articulated. You have a nice top end there, and uh, the bottom end is uh, is uh, pleasant. Uh, there's not a bunch there, but uh, there's it's pleasant. And if you get too much, uh, and if you have a tendency to work tight, Mike, uh, it does tend to uh, uh, move uh, the low frequencies uh, up as far as uh, you know when you work a close mic, uh, you have a low frequency. Uh, uh, build up there, and, and uh, so this uh, should uh, solve that problem, Roger. And uh, so this uh, should uh, solve that problem, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'd like to put, uh, I'm, I'm used to the PR40 and actually trying to eat it, uh, get up close to it, and uh, talk it into the end of it. So it's kind of a little bit unnatural to talk across one, if you know what I mean. Oh yes, sir. You're defying all the aspects of the of the world <laughs> by uh, uh, walking and trying to talk across that instead of into it. But uh, I think you're sounding really good there. There's I don't hear any mouth noise now, so uh, that's uh, that's great. And uh, uh, why don't you try um, instead of right up against your lips, maybe try um, maybe two inches away. Let's see what that does. Try um, maybe two inches away. Let's see what that does. Okay, right there's about two inches away. Uh, got a little gap there. Uh, does that sound any different to you, there? Yes, sir. I think that's perfect right there. I would run it just just like that, Roger. Get the gorilla shape out and taper down. Just just like that, Roger. Get the gorilla shape out and taper down. Okay, we'll leave it alone right there. I do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, this thing's a little bit of a different animal to me, so uh, I appreciate your help getting it set up. Roger, Roger. Now I would keep my uh, ALC meter out uh, to look at it as I'm talking and uh, try to keep that in the uh, sweet spot there of uh, two thirds as much as you can, Roger. Spot there of uh, two thirds as much as you can, Roger. Okay. Uh, it's a, since I've backed off the microphone, it's just a little bit lower. Should I take the mic down up just a little bit? Yeah, sure. Th that'll work. Yeah, sure. Uh, that'll work. Okay, it's on 
my mic gauge is on 37, 38. Uh, right there is 40, and it's showing about three-quarter scale. Excellent, excellent. So I, w- I would do it just just like that. And uh, if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will bring you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3100. And I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. Roger, Roger. I usually catch on Friday evening, so it was Saturday morning. I'm looking for that video. I noticed that you were singling some of the videos out, and I got singled out with my own call sign. Yes, sir. I do. Uh, usually, I do the long one first. And that, that uh, stands uh, for uh, Saturday morning, Saturday evening, uh, Sunday morning, Sunday evening. And then by Sunday e- evening, I've started to uh, bust up the long recording into uh, individual segments, Roger. Bust up the long recording into uh, individual segments, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I was looking through the videos on that. I was going to ask you to my call sign and the YouTube that popped up with all of your videos. I was like, that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate everything you do. Uh, you make us sound a whole lot better. Roger, Roger. Uh, the thing is, if I didn't break them up into individual pieces, uh, nobody would be able to tell where they are because the long one is so involved, I would never be able to put everybody's call sign in that one. So uh, that's why we break them up. So, uh, you know, each each person uh, usually has their own uh, uh, segment, Roger. Uh, usually has their own uh, uh, segment, Roger. Roger, Roger. It makes it a whole lot easier to find, that's for sure. Unless you save the video from uh, from when you get it the first time, you got this kind of big thrill. Roger. And that's uh, another thing we do. Um, we're, we date each segment uh, to avoid confusion. So if you do... Uh, do uh, your call sign search, uh, they will each have a different date, so you'll be able to uh, uh, discern between them, Roger. Be able to uh, uh, discern between them, Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, well, I'll let you go. I know there's some other people on the hall right there, uh, and I look forward to watching the video in the morning. Okay, t- uh, take one more off the bottom end, one more off uh, your uh, 250, Roger. Off the bottom end. One more off uh, your uh, 250, Roger. Okay, let me jump back in the menu here just a second. Let me see some stuff here. Okay, I was uh, dropping to nine. You only drop it all the way to the bottom. So it was uh, nine and ten is the bottom. Uh, th- that is the bottom there? That is the bottom there? Yep, that's the bottom. That's as low as it can go right there. Okay, pull off mic just a little bit more then. Okay, pull off mic just a little bit more then. Okay, that's back to nine right there. How's that now? I mean, just distance. That's the only thing I was talking about. Trying to, trying to get a little bit less low end and a little bit more top end. I was just talking about uh, proximity to microphone. No controls involved. Keep your controls all like they were. No controls involved. Keep your controls all like they were. Okay, we're back where we're at, and I'm back to about three inches. I may have gotten closer there, uh, out of habit, Jim. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, yes, I tell you what, why don't we go uh, plus one more click boost on that uh, 2KC, Roger? One more click boost on that uh, 2KC, Roger. Okay, there's another one on 2K right there. Steve, one more up. Yes, sir. I like that. Uh, that gives you a little uh, a headroom to uh, to get close if you happen to, and or or back away from it. Uh, so it gives you a little ex- just a tad extra bright uh, brightness, Roger. Gives you a little ex- just a tad extra bright uh, brightness, Roger. Roger. Yeah, and I've got a big voice too, and uh, that kind of it's kind of hard to mask out, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Okay, and uh, keep that uh, uh, ALC meter out so you can tell exactly where you are on the sweet spot, Roger. Meter out so you can tell exactly where you are on the sweet spot, Roger. Roger, Roger. Like I said, I'm at the three-quarter scale in the white there right now, bouncing between about 50 and 75%. Uh, uh, I 
about in. Okay, about 75 percent, maybe 80. That sounds perfect right there. Just keep her just like that. All right, sir. Uh, you have a good afternoon and a great weekend there, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to join us next Friday, Roger. Right weekend there, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to join us next Friday, Roger. Right I sure will. I'll dig up another microphone, get it plugged up, same model, and uh, make sure it's doing the right thing. Yes, sir. Good idea. Good idea. All right, Jeff, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. We'll catch you next Friday. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOCnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I can't hear him. I've got somebody, some good soul uh, that's uh, tuning up on the frequency. Sir, it's not a good idea to uh, tune up on the frequency, uh, an active frequency. I'm not sure exactly why uh, one would want to do that. Uh, it, it sounds like it might be uh, uh, delivered to QRMing, but then uh, who am I to say? Delivered to QRMing, but then uh, who am I to say? Station Indian ending in Vic, India. Uh, try it again. Indian ending in India. Uh, try it again. This is Tom. Can look for Tango Vic India K14 CI Tango Vic India. Hello. Roger, Tom, and what's your location, sir? Roger, Tom, and what's your location, sir? Uh, I'm in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee, just south of Nashville. And I've uh, just been listening around here. Not much going on today. Just got off work early. And with Tom, uh, Cable TV, back to you. Roger, Tom. Radio sounds pretty good there, sir. Your dynamic range is about 3 dB, which uh, means that your average percent of peak modulation is about 80 to 85 percent. Probably could use maybe uh, a couple of clicks more uh, treble EQ boost uh, if you get a chance. Uh, give you just a little bit more uh, articulation, but uh, other than that, uh, sounds good, Roger. Articulation, but uh, other than that, uh, sounds good, Roger. QSL, uh, I'm using a 10 tech Omni 7. I don't uh, I think I have those options, but I think I went to the software to make those type of changes. So I'm running uh, a 642 KFA into an inverted D, you know, about 1500 out. So uh, just uh, visiting around here and heard you guys. Tinker with audio, so uh, it's back to you, K42. Yeah. Roger, this is the uh, QSO net for Friday afternoon, and uh, what we do is uh, we assist people in uh, in uh, getting their uh, transmitters uh, tuned up, and we go through the whole thing from uh, their uh, you know their uh, transmitter bandpass. Uh, a lot of folks don't know about transmitter bandpass, but uh, that's uh, called TVW, Transmit Bandwidth, and uh, usually uh, the newer radios have uh, three different options, and uh, we want uh, them to be in that uh, 100 to 2900 Transmit Bandwidth, which uh, gives the transmitter the uh, best opportunity to preserve uh, the uh, top-end audio spectrum. When you get into those lesser bandwidths, uh, you start rolling off the top end, Roger. Lesser bandwidths. Uh, you start rolling off the top end, Roger. Thank you, sir. The only, only IO control I have here is on the uh, receiver, I believe. My bandwidth is at half the 6 KC. Bandwidth is at 2600 on. I think that just controls uh, the uh, same frequency. So, uh, something of this is frequency. NCA frequency 20 kilohertz. I, I, I don't even know what that is. 
Yes, sir. Do you have an option there of uh, 100 to 2900? That's the one we look for uh, because uh, that gives you just a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's conversation. So we usually suggest them run uh, a 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Roger. Uh, a 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Roger. Roger, what was the name there? Roger, what was the name there? Uh, Thomas Oval Mike Tom. Actually, if you let me a book QRZ, I'm John T. Turner. I'm a professional electrical engineer and in practice. Uh, 60 years now, we designed photo assembly plant for all the major car manufacturers. Do you assume? Uh, yes, sir. One more time, slowly, phonetically on your call sign. Uh, yes, sir. One more time, slowly, phonetically on your call sign. Go on. Four. Tango. Victor. India. T4 Television Event. Yes, sir. And what was that that uh, you uh, designed? Yes, sir. What was that that uh, you uh, designed? My company had designed uh, the manufacturing facility for automotive assembly and all the, all the parts. Parts that go into cars. We work for all the auto manufacturers in North America. Japanese companies. So we're ranked number two. And we do semiconductor manufacturing facilities, a wide range of things. So it's, uh, it's been a good career. Like I say, I've had. In 60 years, QSL. Ah, uh, yes, sir. And I just uh, went over to my local antenna, and you're about uh, 15 over on my local antenna. Uh, we're up around Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville. And like I say, you're just uh, gangbusters. I, I'm running a, a uh, on this local situation, I'm running a 7300 and uh, a dipole antenna, and you're like about 15 or 20 over, and your audio curve is just beautiful. Yes, sir. I used to go up there to Peoli Peak and snow ski. I know exactly where you are. Roger, 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 Roger. Well, thanks for checking in there. And uh, gosh, uh, if you get a chance uh, and you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, uh, that'll take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3100, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. Roger, QSL. Going to dinner. You guys have a great evening. Yes, sir, Tom. Glad to take a talk at you. You, you sounded great. And uh, if you can and want to, uh, join us next Friday. We're on each Friday from 3.30 till 5. And like I say, we uh, assist folks in uh, uh, setting up their transmitter. Roger, Roger. Yeah, QSL. Also, let's, let's talk about ham radio. Uh, I've been a ham for 66 years, even long, <laughs> 60 in professional engineering and, and 66 in ham radio. It's time to pull the plug on something. I think it's going to be work. Oh, well, you can't, uh, you can't pull the plug on ham radio, sir. That's, <laughs> you can't do that. I would never. <laughs> No, that's too much fun, and uh, too many uh, too many possibilities for going good and going bad. But uh, you know, you pays your money and takes your chances, Roger. QSL, yeah, I've got about 35 or 40 pieces of shortwave equipment in here, so lots of Oreo, Drake, Johnson, Pentec. You know, <laughs> I've had a little bit of everything, but this is my favorite, the Pentec. Right, 73s again. I'll catch you soon, K4 TBI. Hey, roger that, roger that. Uh, and are you running 100 watts uh, or what? Well, I'm running, uh, hello, hello. About 1,500 out. <laughs> Great signal. Great signal. That's the, that's the thing. Put your best foot forward. That's, that's my motto anyway. So uh, uh, we'll catch you later. And the, the name was what now? 
It's John T Turner, John Thomas Turner. I go by Tom on the radio because it's very easy to read in CW and send in CW. But uh, technically everybody calls me John at work. All right, uh, Tom, I'll call you Tom. Uh, sounding good there, bud. Uh, keep up the good work, and we'll catch you later. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. We're recording now live to five, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you want to check out, give me a shout. Tango Radio. There's somebody there say radio. Who's that? Golf Tango Radio, is that a Roger? Golf Tango Radio, is that a Roger? That is a Roger, that is a Roger. I'm located in Maryland with the three Golf Tango Radio. Got Sierra, Charlie, Oscar, Tango, Tango. Well, last QSO was back in uh, 2020, copy. Ah, uh, Roger that. Uh, what was the name again? Ah, uh, Roger that. Uh, what was the name again? Roger Scott, and what radio are you running today? Roger Scott, and what radio are you running today? Uh, Yasu DX101B. Is that a 101 boy? Is that a 101 boy? A 101 Delta, 101 Delta, FTDX101B, Roger, Roger there. And I'll tell you, if you would like, uh, and if you could, why don't you uh, tell me uh, about your antenna system for about 10 seconds, and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. And uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Yeah, copy that. Roger, Roger. Now, do you have an you uh, have an adjustable uh, transfer bandwidth? Uh, we would want that to be on the 100 to uh, uh, 2900 uh, uh, transfer bandwidth, Roger. Yeah, I got it set to 200 to 2800. I find it to be a little bit more bassy um, that way. Um, how are you hearing me? Uh, am I too bassy or am I too thin to you? Uh, what I'm saying is usually uh, we suggest 100 to 2900 uh, to let the transmitter achieve its uh, best possibilities. When you uh, start rolling off the top end to that 28, 27, 26, you're, you're rolling off the audio uh, frequency response capabilities of that uh, transmitter. So we want to, to get that transmitter running uh, at its best possibilities, which is uh, 100 to 2900, then just a slice of daylight uh, before you're into somebody else's conversation. Roger? Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. I like that a lot better. And if it's uh, if it's the receive aspect that uh, that uh, you like, as far as being a little bassier, you 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 probably do have a receive uh, EQ setting. Uh, don't confuse it with your transmit setting. But on the receiver, you may have a uh, EQ setting that you could roll off uh, a couple of clicks uh, treble EQ on your receiver, Roger. Actually, I have about four or five different 
Roger, couldn't copy a lot of that. Uh, I do not have a, a real good copy on your last one was uh, out of New York, and now I'm over into Pennsylvania. Seems like, uh, for some reason, Pennsylvania is always in the middle of a lightning storm, Roger. For some reason, Pennsylvania is always in the middle of a lightning storm, Roger. Copy that. All right. Good copy on me today. I'll say my 73, and uh, I'll let you uh, catch, catch the next person. Uh, Whiskey 3, Golf Tango Radio, back to Kilowatt Charlie 9. Victor, Victor, 73, have a good one. Roger, Roger. I do have, uh, you know, that last transmission, you were about 4 dB above the uh, New York SDR noise level, so I copied you fairly well. And if you want to hear your radio, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, Roger. Okay, there's a Victoria 8 station in there. Come back slowly, phonetically, with your call sign. Okay, uh, and that's uh, uh, Uncle Sam Adam, is that a Roger? Yes, sir. And uh, what was the name again? Okay, Chris, uh, you're, 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 I'm copying the mail on my 7300 right at the moment, and uh, you seem to be very heavy on the bottom end. Uh, and, you know, uh, what happens is we've got to be balanced uh, to... Uh, to really make it happen there. I don't have that good a coffee on you. I wish I had a better coffee, but it, it sounds uh, real heavy on the bottom side, Roger. Oh, Roger, okay. Well, I mean, I can, uh, I can... Roger, okay. Well, I mean, I can, uh, I can take the, uh, the base out of it. How's that? That better? Well, I'm copying you now up. <laughs> I'm copying you now up on the uh, uh, Pennsylvania uh, SDR, and you sound pretty good. But I, you know, you got to remember that these SDRs roll off uh, at about uh, 250 cycles. They're not very accurate on the low side. So uh, if I were to go back t now to my 7300, uh, let me see. Uh, Tell me about your antenna system again, and uh, let me listen to you on my 7300, Roger. Your antenna system again, and uh, let me listen to you on my 7300, Roger. Okay, very good. Uh, 75 meter dipole, uh, center fed using uh, 119 feet 6 inches of. Uh, 119 feet 6 inches of uh, uh, 10 gauge wire uh, with 100 feet of LMR 400 with a. One to one balance. Um, just running a an old uh, uh, for today's standards, 1995 Icom 775 DSP, and that's probably what you're hearing the DSP part of this. But uh, anyway, running both pieces of the, the uh, W2IHY gear, and I, I just hooked up a brand new Marshall uh, R144 ribbon mic. I got me a new uh, mic boom. Uh, this Roger there, Chris. Uh, I was trying to go back and forth between my my uh, my 7300 and the uh, PASDR. You sound beautiful on the PASDR, but still a little heavy on my uh, 7300, which is uh, good down to 100 cycles. And I've got a, uh, a spectrum analyzer tied to the output of the audio, and I did see activity down there about 25 cycles. So, uh, you know, I would, myself, I would pull that uh, below uh, 50 cycles. I would, I would, I would get rid of that and uh, copy down to maybe a hundred cycles and then uh, put a slope uh, slope out and really a steep slope out after a hundred cycles uh, uh, just to keep that uh, base uh, uh, from uh, you know uh, taking away from the top end Roger from 
you know, uh, taking away from the top end. Roger. All right, Roger. Well, I mean, I can, I can just continually, I can drop it uh, way down. Uh, I dropped it uh, way down. I cut it back to about uh, about 50. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That I think that's a lot cleaner. I was actually, it was sounding almost like a subharmonic. Now, I have got a monitor system that has a, uh, a subwoofer on it, and uh, we're good down to about 40 cycles. So I was hearing something uh, down around 40 cycles that was, uh, you know, overpowering uh, exactly what we were listening to up in the up in the mids, which is, you know, not what you want to do. Uh, so that's why I was suggesting maybe just a, a taper out uh, uh, after 100 cycles on the bottom side. Roger? We're out uh, uh, after 100 cycles on the bottom side. Roger? Hi, Roger. Well, and, and I'm, I'm probably transmitting. I don't know where you got that. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, the uh, SDR is receiving. Um, I, I think they, uh, they receive at what? Um, I, I think they... Uh, uh, they receive it for a 2.9, uh, 2 eight wide or something like that. I may be, with the audio gear and everything, probably uh, uh, transmitting wider than what you're receiving, over. Ah, uh, yes, sir, it could be, and uh, they are notorious for rolling off on the bottom end. They uh, usually roll off about 2, 2.50 uh, 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 kilohertz, uh, not kilohertz, but cycles, uh, 200 to uh, 250 cycles on the bottom side. So uh, they're not, uh, you know, very reliable on the lower side for sure. This uh, 7300 is, like I say, it's good down to 100 cycles. And and I was just listening. That last transmission uh, was fairly uh, hotter than the other ones uh, on my 7300, and I could not. Uh, hear that uh, sub uh, uh, frequency uh, uh, stuff in there. So uh, I think uh, uh, maybe the way you're running it now might be more uh, conducive to intelligibility than uh, with that uh, that bottom end, Roger. Intelligibility than uh, with that uh, that bottom end, Roger. Hi, Roger. Well, I mean, you know, you got a lot of everybody kind of likes different things, and uh, you know, I, I've talked. And they'd rather listen to a uh, a 1.8 or a 2.2 audio than instead of a 3.5. I mean, you know, it's just a radio and what you're used to hearing. But uh, yeah, I, I like uh, I like the uh, the good fullness uh, of the uh, studio quality. But yeah, that's no big deal. I mean, I, I've got uh, on the EQ Plus, you can turn the bass up and down and the bass and treble. So. Uh, all I did was just cut it back a little bit, and that ain't no big deal. But my main thing is, I, I just like I said, this is a brand new mic just out of the box, um, and, and it does seem to be a little hotter, maybe a little more bassy. Uh, I don't know whether you're familiar with the ribbon mics or not, but uh, they're really nice. You don't really hear a whole lot of them anymore. Uh, but uh, this one here works really well with the... Uh, the audio gear and the uh, the 775. So, but anyway, let me get out of here unless somebody else pick you up. Uh, I was just curious as to uh, uh, what this thing sounded like. Uh, I'm hearing in the uh, the headphones, and I'm still hearing pretty good fidelity. So, anyway, uh, we'll uh, turn it back to you for your final WV. You say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good sounding uh, ribbon microphone. Unusually good top end. Uh, uh, but do not do not blow into that ribbon microphone if you uh, care to uh, to use it again because they are uh, pretty um, prone to uh, wipe out on a uh, on a strong plosive. That's the only uh, difficult part about uh, a ribbon microphone. There it dates back to uh, the uh, 30s in, in broadcast, uh, and uh, we were so happy, uh, you know, when the uh, uh, the DX RCA uh, uh, DX uh, 10 came along because it was uh, uh, such a nice mic. We were, had been using uh, uh, RCA BX. Uh, God, I forget what they are, but they're the box, boxy kind of microphones, Roger. I forget what they are, but they're the box, boxy kind of microphones, Roger. Yeah, yeah, Roger. That well, uh, this uh, uh, this is the nice thing about the ribbon mic is that you have to. You've got to kind of get up on these. Uh, I mean, you can get back a little bit. That's, that's about uh, that's about three inches, and uh, of course, you drop the audio way back. 
Um, and I could probably get back a little bit further, but anyway, you're probably going to pick up a lot of a lot of noise, and you're not really, uh, uh, you know, articulating the ribbon. I don't think uh, so. But anyway, well, we'll see. Seventy-three is to you, and thank you for the uh, uh, the audio check. I just want to make sure this thing, once I got it hooked up, was was working, and it sounded like it's a, it's a cooking. So uh, have a great day and enjoy the weekend. Looks like it's going to be a, a sunny and like we're heading into the 90s. Uh, heat index is probably up close to 100 again, so stay cool and I'll catch you next time. WV, you say. Roger, roger, Chris. Uh, sounds really good. Really good. And uh, if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook on a YouTube search, it'll take you to this recording. It'll be uh, cut number one in a series of 3100, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. All righty, appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be interested in uh, in here and see what it sounds like. Hey, 73, enjoy your evening. Uh, Whiskey Victoria 8, Uniform Sierra Alpha. Roger, Roger there, uh, Chris. Uh, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, a beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Victor Echo 3, actually, Bravo Oscar Mobile. Victor Echo 3, uh, try me one more time, uh, slowly phonetically with the call sign. Echo 3, uh, try me one more time, uh, slowly phonetically with the call sign. Yes, uh, it's uh, Victor Echo 3, actually, uh, Bravo Oscar. Uh, Bart here in Meaford, Ontario, Canada. Is that a Roger? Ah, yes, sir. And what was the name? Ah, yes, sir. And what was the name? Uh, the name here is Bart Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango. Roger. Roger, Bart. I haven't uh, spoken with you recently. Roger, Roger. Roger, Bart. I haven't uh, spoken with you recently. Roger, Roger. Roger on that. I've been a little bit away, but I'm getting back into the hobby. Uh, just testing out my mobile rig here, um, just with a ham stick, and the radio is uh, the Yezu 817 Norman Delta uh, with a 50 amp uh, little uh, integrated amp- amplifier. Um, it's the Micro PA50 Plus uh, that I got from uh, AliExpress, uh, and uh, it seems to be working, Roger. Yes, sir. Now, I would uh, work that hand mic uh, to the corner of my lips, talk across it, uh, as opposed to uh, into it. You can maybe get just a little less uh, mouth noise, Roger. Just pull it to the corner of your lips and, and uh, talk across it, Roger. Roger, just pull it to the corner of your lips and, and uh, talk across it, Roger. Okay, Roger. This is uh, talking across the mic, uh, talking across the mic, Roger. Oh, yes, sir. That That's uh, just beautiful there. And so give me the uh, nomenclature of that radio one more time you're using. And so give me the uh, nomenclature of that radio one more time you're using. Yes, it's the uh, Yezu uh, QRP rig. Uh, it's the Yezu 817 Norman Delta. And it's hooked up to a little 50-watt amplifier. Uh, um, uh, transistor amplifier. It's the Micro uh, um, Papa Alpha 50 Plus. Uh, Roger. Ah, uh, Roger that. Uh, and uh, you might. Uh, do you have uh, capabilities of? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, probably setting your AOC level. It sounds like you might be hot into your AOC a little bit. But rather than go through the AOC, if you were to just back off your mic gain, uh, keep everything else the same, but just back off about uh, uh, four or five clicks on your mic, Roger. Back off about uh, uh, four or five clicks on your mic, Roger. Okay. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, I did back off the mic right now. Uh, hopefully this is better. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your dynamic range now is about 3 dB, which is uh, what we uh, usually prescribe uh, to, uh, you know, for intelligibility. If you get past uh, 3 dB dynamic range, up there in the twos and the ones uh, where you're just uh, up against the wall, uh, you'd really do yourself a disservice as far as people being able to uh, discern what you're saying, because if you don't, you need a little bit of life in your dynamic range to be able to uh, uh, be heard as to what the words are, Roger? To be able to uh, uh, be heard as to what the words are, Roger? Roger, 100%. Uh, well, that's why I'm checking into your uh, net here, uh, just to see how, uh, how this is sounding uh, on the other end, Roger. Roger, and also you're, uh, you're up against the top end audio frequency response wise, and I'm assuming that you, you mean to be there, and, and it, sounds, it sounds good, you know. Um, if you were to do uh, more uh, QSO kind of stuff, uh, you might want a little more bottom end, but, but I wouldn't change that top end uh, uh, at this point, you know, uh, because it really sounds good. Uh, at this point, you know, uh, because it really sounds good. Uh, okay. Well, keep in mind, uh, Jim, this is a QRP rig, so uh, a little different than uh, the uh, ICOM 7300, which uh, I do have on my home base station, Roger. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know what QRP is. QRP is turn that mic up as far as you can get it. And you, you need to do that, too, because, you know, uh, you have uh, your job cut out for you or QRP-wise and, uh, uh, and get that EQ up there. And I think, uh, uh, where are you? Uh, again, you're in, in Ontario. I'm copying you on my, uh, my uh, Pennsylvania SDR, Roger. Terry, I'm copying you on my, uh, my uh, Pennsylvania SDR, Roger. Roger. We're around uh, 100 miles north of Toronto, Roger. Oh, yes, sir. Well, you're, you're getting... And what is uh, QRP at the moment? Sir, well, you're, you're getting... And what is uh, QRP at the moment? Uh, well, QRP is uh, uh, 30 watts right now because I have the little amplifier turned on, uh, Roger. Oh, uh, Roger. Well, th that's the most active 30 watts I've ever heard. Just sounds beautiful. Now, what would uh, what would QRP be without the amp? Beautiful. Now, what would uh, what would QRP be without the amp? Well, uh, this is hello, hello, hello. Frequencies in use. Um, Roger, Roger. Well, you think uh, maybe about uh, 3 dB uh, audio level, but uh, the noise uh, uh, came up quite a bit. So you're you're much better. <laughs> on, you know, according to me, you're much better with that uh, amp on, Roger. And, you know, according to me, you're much better with that uh, amp on, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, that was uh, two watts uh, QRP. Now I'm back to 30 watts, uh, but I am on a compromise antenna. It's uh, it's a hamstick uh, on my van right now uh, that is uh, doing the uh, the heavy lifting of 30 watts. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. That was two watts when you were, were low power. Oh, Roger, Roger. That was two watts when you were, were low power. Uh, that's correct. Roger, Roger. Well, you were. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, you were about uh, 3 dB above the uh, PA uh, SDR noise level, Roger, on that uh, 2 watts. Yeah, uh, PA uh, SDR noise level, Roger, on that uh, 2 watts. Okay, very good. Well, I'm back to the normal uh, uh, higher power right now, so you can hear me. Roger, Roger, sounds good, sir. Sounds really good. And if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube and do that call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will uh, take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3100. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. And uh, uh, good to hear you there, Mark. But uploaded by noon tomorrow. And uh, uh, good to hear you there, Mark. Oh, very good, Jim. Uh, thanks for taking my call, 7-3, and uh, enjoy the rest of your hour. Uh, VE3, XP Oakley. Roger, roger, Bart, 73, sir. Have a good afternoon and a great weekend, and don't be a stranger. Come by any time. This is the Friday afternoon kiss of VlogNet. My name is Jim, and uh, we record now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. 
This is Whiskey Delta Zero, Juliet India Mike. Juliet India Mike, Roger, Roger. Uh, give me the whole call sign one more time, please. Whiskey Delta Zero, Juliet India Mike, checking in. Whiskey Delta Zero, Julia India Mike, is that a Roger? Whiskey Delta Zero, Julia India Mike, is that a Roger? Yes, sir, that is correct. You got the call sign correct. Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Uh, the name here is Jim. Julia India Mike is the name and the call sign. We're in Jackson, Michigan. Over. Roger, in uh, Michigan, what radio are you running, Jim? Roger, in uh, Michigan, what radio are you running, Jim? Yes, we're running the uh, ICOM 705, and we're running that into a 100-watt uh, solid-state amplifier, and we're peaking uh, anywhere from 60 to 90 watts uh, into an N-fed half-wave about uh, 40 feet up in the air, strung up into a tree. Roger, Roger. Well, gosh, your audio uh, sounds just beautiful. You're running about uh, a 3 dB dynamic range, which means your average percent of peak modulation is around 80 to 85 uh, percent. The EQ curve sounds uh, nice and intelligible. Uh, I would uh, double check to be sure that I'm in that uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. That uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. Okay, uh, could you give me that recommendation again on those settings, and I'll go into the menu and check them? Yes, sir. Uh, just uh, make sure you're in that uh, uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, TBW. It's called Wide, and it gives your transmitter the best opportunity to uh, operate uh, and keep uh, you know, the uh, upper frequencies because what happens is at lesser transmit bandwidths, you start rolling off the top end, uh, like 2.7, uh, 2.6. So you want to you want to keep that at uh, 100 to uh, 2900, and that gives you just a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's conversation. Slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's conversation. Okay, I, uh, I understand and I confirm that is the current settings, 100 to 2900 for wide. So thank you very much. Uh, sounds like we're in good shape. Yes, sir, and your audio curve is just, just beautiful. And if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, it'll take you to this recording. It'll read cut number one in a series of 3100, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. 100, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Okay, uh, copy that on the YouTube, and we'll look forward to viewing the recording of it. And uh, this is the second rig you've uh, helped me uh, dial in, so I appreciate all the work you're doing. Uh, the last time we talked was on my other radio, the 7300, probably a year or so ago. So thanks again for uh, being out there for us, and 73 from WD0JIM. Roger, Roger, Jim, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, join us uh, next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon, Kiso Vlagnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, Vlagnet, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Howdy, Jim. Uh, K9 United Radio. K9 Uniform Romeo. Bravo. Uniform radio station, come back uh, phonetically with your call sign, slowly. Radio station, come back uh, phonetically with your call sign, slowly. Yeah, hi Jim, uh, this is Joe up here in uh, just north of Terre Haute, Indiana today, K9 United Radio, K9 UR. My name is Joe. How are you today? Uh, very good, Joe. And what radio are you running, sir? Uh, very good, Joe. And what radio are you running, sir? Uh, today I'm running the ICOM 7610, and I'm using a digital pre-distortion. I don't know if you're familiar with that technology, but that's the uh, latest and greatest technology for transmitters that uh, automatically and dynamically uh, adjust uh, the intermodulation distortion to minimum. So uh, it's pretty cool technology, and the uh, 7610 has a firmware upgrade that uh, allows the uh, digital pre-distortion. So I'm running that. I'm kind of interested uh, if you've got the different... Um, 
Web SDRs uh, that have spectroscope, as you can look on those, maybe uh, you should hopefully not see any hairy edges on either side of the uh, 2.9 uh, kilohertz bandwidth. Uh, that was the, uh, the 2.9, yeah, 2.8 kilohertz I'm running right now. Uh, Jim, uh, go ahead. Roger, Roger. Now, uh, we normally uh, suggest uh, 100 to 2900, but uh, uh, your modulation index uh, seems to be very high, so maybe uh, 28 might be a better setting than 29 uh, to make sure we don't have any problems, Roger. Setting than 29 uh, to make sure we don't have any problems, Roger. Okay, uh, give me that one more time. You said the modulation index, the, uh, the, uh, the tone quality has got a bit, a bit too much trouble, a bit too much high end over it. No, that's, that's good and balanced. I'm talking about your dynamic range. Uh, it looks to be about 2 dB. Normally, we suggest a 3 dB dynamic range, which is a little uh, a little bit less uh, volume than, than where you are. And uh, But then again, you were talking about this modulation, uh, distortionless modulation control. And so maybe a 2800 would be a better place to be than 29, so you don't uh, wander out there into somebody else's conversation, right? Roger. Don't uh, wander out there into somebody else's conversation, Roger. Oh, yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm just checking now. Actually, I, I made a mistake. I'm running a 200 hertz on the low end and 2900 on the high end. So 2.7 is the actual bandwidth, 2.7. But I can narrow it up a bit further. I'll, uh, normally, I take it off the bottom end as opposed to the top end. But uh, if you think it uh, can afford to be taken off the top end, I can do that as well. I uh, generally... I uh, don't like a lot of face. I think it uh, it makes the intelligibility a little bit tricky. But uh, anyway, uh, what do you think? Go ahead. Yes, sir, I think it's I think it's fine. I was trying to recall what that was on the seventy six ten. Um, uh, gosh, it's uh, right on the front of the dial there. Um, I forget what the name of it is. Uh, oh gosh, uh, uh, hang on, my my uh, my. Uh, let me get my uh, da, 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 <laughs> my uh, tablet up, and uh, I'll find that real quick. Uh, maybe I will. <laughs> we shall see. Um, let's see here. Okay, I want to. No, I don't want. I don't want to shop. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna uh, browse. I think here. God, these uh, these jobbers just. Drive you crazy with ads, if, you know, if you uh, you let them. Okay, so um, um, hmm. Okay, files. That's what I want. Files. Yes. And uh, this may just a minute here. Uh, radios, radio, ham radio, notes. Uh, let's see here trying to remember uh, what the what it is it's the uh, mm, still looking for it hang on just a minute let me let me look it for this still looking for it hang on just a minute let me, let me look it for this no problem at all and uh, yeah it's um, maybe what you're thinking is uh, a compression setting of some type or perhaps uh, or the transmit bandwidth uh, Anyway, um, I'll let you look through the list there and see what you come up with. It's uh, KC9VKV Internet with K9UR here. Roger, Roger. It's a control right in the middle of your 7610 that takes you uh, uh, to uh, something and uh, somewhat. <laughs> I should, ha I, you know, I can't find it right now. Uh, somewhat. I should, ha I, you know, I can't find it right now. Or maybe uh, like a menu, a setting uh, menu or, or the multi knob. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a single uh, set uh, control that takes you to uh, another place, uh, and usually that uh, place is at uh, 50, and we usually suggest uh, running that at 65. And we usually suggest uh, running that at 65. Okay, maybe that's a mic gain. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. No, it's not mic gain. Um, uh, I'm kicking myself here. Uh, Shoot. Can't think of it now. Anyway, uh, it will give you about 15% uh, more uh, modulation uh, than where you are, if you can believe that. 
uh, we'd played with it uh, uh, before and we've taken it from uh, 50 to 65 to 75 to 85 to 95 to 100 and at 100 uh, you know I'm looking at the audio on a view meter on the output of a receiver and the, the, the audio is just uh, uh, straight up uh, at zero level not not even moving it's so compressed uh, and it's by far too compressed we were just checking out the uh, the capabilities of that control uh, so normally it's a uh, 50% and we should usually suggest like 65 and it's like tune uh, but it's a control right in the middle of your radio I think, I think what you're talking about is you hit the quick button and then that's the drive gain, is that right? Exactly, exactly. Let me make a note of that. Quick to drive. Exactly, exactly. Let me make a note of that. Quick to drive. Yeah, exactly. It's the quick button, which is right in front of me, and then the drive, uh, the drive uh, gain is adjusted. Yeah, right now mine is at uh, 55, 5.5. Five. And what did you say was the optimal? 6.5, six, 6.5. Five, six, five. More optimal, over. Six five, six five. Very good. Okay, I've got it, Jim. Uh, listen, I've got a little bit of QRM in here, and I know you normally wrap up around five o'clock. I don't want to hold it too long here, but uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll tweak the drive gain and see uh, see what that does. I've dr I, I put it to about sixty five here. How does that sound over this K nine U R? Oh, it just sounds beautiful. Just sounds beautiful. And if you want to hear your audio again, uh, you know, go to YouTube. Did I call it a search? KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. I'll take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Okay, real good, Jim. Well, have a nice weekend, 7-3, and uh, appreciate you being out there. Your work helps uh, keep the vans clean, so... Uh, Anything that we can do that uh, help that is uh, going to be good for all hands. So appreciate you being there, 7-3, and have a nice weekend. Uh, KC9, VKV, and the QSO Vlog. This is K9UR. Go ahead, Jim, 7-3. Roger, Joe, and what's your location? Roger, Joe, and what's your location? Uh, I am uh, just north of Terre Haute, Indiana today. I'm in uh, Studio B, just north of Terre Haute. Over. Alrighty, sir. And uh, what kind of power are you running today, just out of curiosity? Alrighty, sir. And uh, what kind of power are you running today, just out of curiosity? Uh, it's about uh, 600 watts. About 600 watts right now. Maybe 700 BEP. Over. Yes, sir. Doing you a beautiful job. Just a great job. Thanks for checking in. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, join us next Friday if you get a chance. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Two stations at once, uh, stronger station take it. Kilo Echo Zero Station, uh, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Zero Station, uh, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Yes, I've got a gentleman in there who's trying to get in. I don't think he realizes that you're running with a repair uh, answer. This is Kilo Echo Zero, Echo Oscar Bravo. Echo Oscar Bravo, what's the name there? Roger, Ricky, and uh, what uh, location are you, sir? Roger, Ricky, and uh, what uh, location are you, sir? I'm uh, southwest Missouri here, about 35 miles east of Springfield, over, over. Okay, Ricky, uh, uh, and uh, what radio are you running? Ricky, uh, uh, and uh, what radio are you running? Okay, I'm running a, uh, an ICOM uh, 751A, ICOM 7. 
Yes, sir, Ricky, I just went to my local antenna, uh, and I keep forgetting to do that on Missouri. Usually Missouri comes in real well on my local antenna. So right at the moment, I do have a pretty good copy on you, Roger. Roger that. I've got a 5-9 copy on you from the beginning. I've listened to uh, two different radio stations you've talked with. I just have tried to get a hold of you before. Uh, I'm just curious, the clarity on this radio, is it pretty good? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it may be just ever so slightly off frequency. I, I, I'm not real sure, but there does seem to be a heavy content down in the uh, bottom end. Uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, if I turn the, uh, let's try this. Let's adjust the mic game just a little bit more. How about that? Is that, does that take that out of there? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, you know it's just a very small thing, but it, it sounds good. Your intelligibility level is is very good, Roger. Roger that. Uh, yeah, we got that other gentleman in there. Uh, he recognized me a while ago, but I can't. He keeps talking the same time you are, and I can't. Uh, I can't catch his call. But uh, anyway, uh, when you clear your net there, I'll, if he's still on there, I'll contact him. This is Gilo Echo Zero Echo Oscar Bro. I didn't even catch your call this time around. Um, go ahead and give me your call, and I appreciate your help. Roger, call is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, KC9 VKV. The name is Jim, Juliet, India Mike, and uh, we're located around uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We're just across the Ohio River from Louisville over on the Indiana side, and this is the uh, QSO Vlog Net. Roger. Roger that, sir. Appreciate that very much. Now I click the VFO of the uh, we lost on because I've got writing right now. You say you're, you're uh, oh, man, I can't remember what you said. Anyway, uh, that's okay. I got you, Jim. KT9 GKD. And uh, you're there every every weekday about this time? Every Friday from uh, 3.30 to 5. 3.30 to 5 every Friday. Roger, Roger. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way there and let you contact that gentleman that's trying to get in, or, or whatever. I may try to pick him up after you're done with your net. Thank you very much for all that you do. Have a wonderful day. This is Kilo Echo Zero Echo Oscar Bravo. Roger, Roger, Ricky. Okay, uh, that station, uh, uh, wherever you are, uh, come and try it again. This is KC9 VKV listening. A station calling. Give me your call sign slowly, phonetically. I'm sorry, station. I do not have a copy on you, sir. It's one of those things. Uh, uh, gosh, maybe next Friday you can give me a call. Um, maybe towards the beginning of the uh, of our show, we start at 3:30 and uh, go to five. So we got to get out of here now and uh, be uh, returning this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. Uh, this is uh, Jim KC9 VKV, and we'll be clear.